You ran an incumbent president's reelection campaign. You know what it's like to be, you know, 48, 49 percent approval. Uh, no sure thing to get reelected. Uh, what what is the Obama team thinking about its challenges and what they need to do? Yeah. Well, uh, <laughs> there there are two ways to answer that. Uh, one is what challenges they I think they they recognize they have, and what challenges I'm they have that I'm not certain they recognize. Uh, first of all, let's start with their advantages. They've, they have the advantage of time. They've spent a lot of time working on this and going to battleground states. Uh, he's already held more fundraisers, for example, than uh, all of his predecessors back to Ronald Reagan combined in their entire campaigns. Don't uh, you envy that? Uh, you know, I, he, in a way, I, I do, but uh, as, as a practitioner of politics, but I, as somebody who's been inside the White House, I know if you've had 130 presidential fundraisers since April 2nd of last year, that that is an enormous drain on the president's time, and he does have a day job. There's, there is this constant tension inside a presidential reelection between doing the job you're supposed to be doing and trying to get run, run for reelection. And the fact is, he's already had more than two and a half times as many fundraisers as Bush had in his entire 2003, 2004 reelection, even though that we both began the reelections at roughly the same time, April of the previous year. Wow. But he has had that advantage. He's also got a very large apparatus aimed at uh, persuading and getting out the vote that is built in an, you know, it's an army of persuasion, much like the Bush 2004 model, but they've, they, they have the advantage of 12 years worth of, of um, excuse me, eight years worth of advances in uh, the web and applications and technology that's going to allow them to do some really interesting things. They've got the advantage of money. They have, they're, uh, they're not going to get to the billion dollars they sort of leaked to ABC last April that they're going to get. I don't even think ultimately, this is where Joe and I have a, a modest disagreement, that, that they're going to get to 750, 750 million, which is what they got last time. But I think they will get close to 700 million dollars. And they, and they do have the advantage of getting out there early and putting it away. The, the neutral thing is the presidential job approval, which is today 47 in this morning's Gallup, and we had 49 at this point. Uh, I think job approval matters, but it is not the dispositive thing. You know, elections are not simply one number. They're, they're a very complex equation. And I, the, the thing that I would look at if I were the Obama people is, is that uh, the, the other number that matters, do, do the American people see you as a strong leader? They, they're in very weak condition on. And, and do the American people see you as having accomplished some big things that are popular? And there, he's in real trouble. The stimulus is seen as a profound failure, and the Affordable Care Act is really a unique piece of legislation. It's the only piece of modern social legislation in the history of the country that has become less popular after its passage. Recent polls show Americans, by almost a two-to-one margin, want to either repeal all of it or repeal significant elements of it. And you can't find that in any other piece of legislation. Even the 64 Civil Rights Act, unpopular in the South, is more popular six months and 12 months later, even in the South, than, uh, than, than it was when it was passed. And this thing has become less popular. It's the biggest challenge they've got. They've they, they got a good handle on their, how they're going to go after Romney. He's weird, wears strange <laughs> underwear. Uh, which is a, a subtle form of religious bigotry, but nonetheless effective in some elements of the country. And, you know, this guy is uh, a rapacious representative of the most uh, loathsome creature in America, somebody who exists on Wall Street. So, uh, you know, the big, rich, weird, weird guy. And they, they, they won't be very subtle at it at times. But they don't have a good handle on them. You know, the, why do we want to reelect him? Is he the strong and effective leader who's confronted the challenges and has got us moving in the right way? We, look, the recession officially ended in June of 2009, and yet the recent polls show 80, 75 to 80 percent of the American people think we're still in recession. And so they, 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 they've got a real challenge. And you've got to run for re-election on the basis of, I've done things that, that you may not necessarily agree with, but you may come to conclude that I did the right thing. And, and, you were able to do that, and you were able to do that on the, on the war and on war on terror. Because Bush was seen as essentially as a strong leader. A lot of times, particularly in voting for president, people say, you know what, I'm not, you know, I like him maybe personally, which is go really good for Obama. They, people like him. Mm -hmm. But they don't like what he's done. So they need to say, I like, I like you, feel like I can relate to you. 
I know what you've done. I know what it is that you want to do. I may not agree with everything that you've done or everything that you, but you know what, you seem like a strong and steady leader. And as a result, you know, in a pinch, I'm going to go with you rather than the other guy. And it's that last part of it. Do they see him as a strong, effective leader who can explain what it is he does? It's not enough to say, you know, bin Laden dead, GM alive. I mean, with all due respect to Vice President Biden, who's better at a bumper sticker designer than he is as a vice president. But, uh, you know, that's just not adequate. And uh, uh, they, they, as a result, I think, that, look, they know they've got to, they start with a stronger electoral base, but I think they also understand this election is going to be come down to a handful of states, 10 or 12 at most, right. and that they are in a very tough uh, re-election battle and uh, with victory not, not clear or assured at all. Joe, uh, why don't you pick that up? Because uh, particularly the point about the uh, the lack of uh, of uh, the difficulty with accomplishments. I mean, they've got them, but they're not popular. Particularly the health care bill and Obamacare. You could argue the affordable the, the auto bailout is popular. It's certainly in Michigan, and of course the 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 the, ca the killing of Bin Laden is popular. But um, what do they do with with uh, with the the, the the achievements being not as popular as uh, as they like? Well, I mean, they're doing moving forward. And of course, the insinuation obviously is Romney would move and the Republicans would, would take us back. And, there, and there's, uh, uh, I think that's going to work for them for, if uh, Romney doesn't put any, any bold ideas out there. I mean, one of the problems Romney's had, I think, throughout the primaries is just, just no real big vision that he's, that he's put out there. I mean, he's basically running, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not Obama. The one thing I, uh, I disagree with, with Carl about uh, uh, is on, on the money side of things. First of all, I agree, this is going to be a very close election. It's going to come down to, to maybe five states, actually, by the time we start. You know, I don't really think Arizona's in play. I mean, we can all act like it is, but I don't <laughs> think so. Uh, and, and vice versa, there's other places that, 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 yeah, Pennsylvania, I'm not really sure, could be. But, but it, essentially, look, this is going to come down to three, four states, probably Virginia, uh, uh, Ohio, Florida, uh, and we can quibble over, over uh, other states that, that may really come down to this. But, but in the end, that's going to come down to a, a it, it could turn out to be just who's better on the ground. I mean, forget all these bigger issues that we're, we're all talking about here. And that's where I think... And you just, you just mean turnout. Getting yeah, your, Getting your voters you to get, the polls. This thing could be who gets their, their voters to the polls. And you, you, you're, we're now starting to see uh, Obama with, with Democrats 10% higher ener energy than, than Republicans, which is totally flipped from where it was uh, at the beginning of the primary, primary season. Um, I don't believe, by the way, that uh, Obama is only going to get uh, 700 million. Carl and I, right, we disagree with about the, with this. They're spending the bulk of their money right now on online. Ad, I mean, millions of dollars on online ads that are are what we used to do to, uh, in direct mail solicitation, uh, where you'd go out and lose money trying to get people to to. to to chip in, uh, uh, buy a subscription now, and then you'd hit them with the resolicit. They are going to resolicit. Do you have an idea? On the day the Obama campaign was over uh, in 2008, they had 110,000 Twitter followers. 110 the day it was over. Today it's 15 million. They had uh, uh, nowhere near the day it's 24, 25 million Facebook followers. They have a a targeted list that they have built up of millions of Americans. Remember last time, three million people gave them 500, uh, $500 million. So if that goes to five million this time, I mean, given that the scale of the network has got that they've built is so big, I think there, this is a lull period where when they go in to resolicit, they're going to get up, I think, above a yeah. billion dollars. And we, you know, we yeah. can, now, that's not the, the thing that, that matters the most about that, though. It's that the Romney campaign hasn't built an on-the-ground effort in a lot of these states that, uh, that the Obama campaign ha has on the ground. I mean, millions of people are going to be out there. I know people don't think the, that uh, people are as energized. I think they are. I think the Republicans have totally missed out in a lot of ways on uh, the importance of, uh, of building a network. 
uh, and I, I know this isn't quite like the standard talk, but you know, uh, Carvel used to say it's the economy stupid. It's going to be the economy stupid this time too, right. but it's the network stupid. 